What's up, guys? You already know it's your boy Chef Frankie. We got uh, DJ Smiley Woo! right here with me. Yes, we're taking flight, baby. Panama That's right. Seafood. That's right. We're gonna teach y'all a little bit about using some of these uh, seafood products from Panama. And we on the Instagram over here. We on the Facebook over here. And we live, baby. So uh, hit us with any questions you got. Right now, just so y'all see, we got a little bit of uh, mussels. Got a little bit of mussels over here. Show them what we got. Is it suet or swai? It's a swai. It's a swai filet. Swai filet. Okay. Yeah, it's like a cousin of the uh, uh, tilapia. of the tilapia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but you know, in Panama, they source it from good places. So good, good clean solid. white fish. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We got clams. That's right. I use these a lot in my linguini. Made up. That's what the swai looks like. Straight out the pack. Nice and white. Nice and clean. Super nice, super nice. Very good presentation. Yo, yo. Y los camarones. That's right. We got some pre-cooked shrimp. Wait up. We got some pre-cooked shrimp over here. And then we have, so y'all see, we have the, uh, the shrimp that are not cooked. And then I'm going to show them to you. Wait up. These are the ones that are defrosted already. So y'all see. I don't know if you can see the difference. The only difference is, okay, now they're they're manageable. Now they're a little looser. They're not hard. Obviously, it's, you can tell when it's frozen because it's hard. Yeah. So in a minute, we'll show you the rest. Let's if talk guys, about seafood handling. Like when you when, when you get them from the store, uh -huh. what's the process if you're gonna make a meal that day? Well, first thing is, if if you're buying a frozen seafood product, you have to first of all. You have to defrost it. No, you have to get it. Uh, you have to get it nice and defrosted for to be able to eat it. So, first things first. Some people think that you have to get the bag. No hot water. No, never hot water. You have to use nice cold water. First of all, I recommend doing it in the refrigeration because in the refrigeration, you know, it, the process is that's the way it's supposed to be. And, but if you're in a hurry. Get the shrimp, take it out of the pack, and run it under cold water, cold running water. And as soon as it's defrosted, it's ready to use. You know what I mean? So let's see if anybody's hitting us with any questions on Instagram or Facebook. I don't see none on Facebook, but let's see. What's up, everybody? If you're just now joining, welcome. We got DJ Smiley in the house, and your boy Chef Frankie, and we got Cafe 72, and we're showing y'all a little bit about these Panama Seafood products in our summer series live with me and DJ Smiley. So, any questions guys? What do you guys need to know about frozen seafood? We got some questions here. I think the first question, let me go grab them over yeah, here. Let me go grab it. The first question is... Camarón enchilado is green. It's a Latin dish and it's like a tomato base. So if you use good tomato base, and usually your enchilado will come out good. Make sure you sofrito those good green peppers, red peppers, a little bit of onion, a lot of garlic. You know, I like everything with lime. So if you put a little lemon juice in there, that'll spice it up, you know, it'll spruce it up a little bit, a good amount of salt, and you're cooking. All right, our next question from Karen from Santo Domingo. That okay? Okay. How do you defrost? We answered that in the beginning. Yes. Cold water. Yes, always cold water. If you missed it the first time, always when you're defrosting your seafood, use cold water. Okay. Always cold water. Take it out of the package. Put it in the in, in a pan in a pot, maybe something like this. You know, whatever you have in your house, and you run cold water on it. And, but here, I mean, I don't know if you can see the color. These are defrosted already. I'm Francesca from Miami. All right. So look, these are your frozen. See, they're pretty icy. They're hard as a rock. When you defrost it the right way, it'll look like this. Nice and blue for the most part because they're using good products. So if you see how these shrimp are blue, if you defrost it with hot water, they're gonna be pink. And that's not necessarily great if you haven't cooked them yet. Karen from Doral says, can we use, can we defrost it in the vacuum? Container. It's not recommended. It's recommended that you pull it out of the vacuum seal container and, and like I said, you run cold water uh, on it. 
you run cold water until it's soft. And then actually, so for cooking it, I can let you guys know that once it is defrosted, you know, it's a little before you season it, then when it goes uh, you can tell that, that they're, they're good quality shrimp, you know what I mean? Trying to make always sources from the, from the right places. Another question all the way from Jamaica, Georgette. How can you tell if the seafood has gone bad while you're defrosting it? Well, I'll tell you what, usually, <laughs> it's very, very easy with seafood, you'll smell it right away. Right away, because seafood shouldn't have a fishy smell. I mean, obviously right? it's a fish that has some kind of fish smell to it. But Salt water. It, yeah, it, it should not be stinky. You know the difference. You definitely know the difference. So definitely smell it. Use yeah, your senses. Smell, yeah. smell see. look at it. Yeah, any discoloration. If it's So if you have fresh shrimp that hasn't been cooked and it looks pink like these do, then you did the wrong thing or the, the product is bad. But you don't gotta worry about product coming back with Panama because Panama is awesome. Oh. I mean, this fish already comes nice and clean, so I don't think you have to worry about it. What I recommend more is patting it dry before you cook it. Because yeah. all these products are, are very, very clean and they come ready to go. Even these shrimp that are, are uh, tail on, they're already deveined. You know what I mean? So, so a lot of Panama products are already ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to go. That's why I love using Panama seafood products. Yeah, it's, there's no time wasting in cleaning nope. or making sure the fish is not fresh. You know that what you're getting when you get Panama. Absolutely. Every single time with Panama, I've never had a bad experience with them. So, a, yeah, pretty much this, this is what we got. What are we going to make today with the shrimp? Hey, I think we're going to make a little shrimp po' boy. Actually, we're having it made right now. Hey, me and Smiley are going to indulge at the end of the live in the next few minutes. What are... Is there any, let me see. Is it safe to eat fish? Shrimp only fish and with shrimp lime? Only with lime. Okay, so, we're, so usually like ceviche is made just with lime. Certain fish are definitely... You lime know, and lemon or just lime? Either one, they yeah. both have it's the citric acid in, in, in the actual lime and lemon that you know will help pretty much cook your fish, but if it's shrimp, if you are gonna cook it that way, I mean, I don't always recommend it, but if you are, you have to leave it in so long. You know, you have to leave it in the lemon for a really long time, you have to make sure it's Overnight cooked. Overnight or? For a good amount of hours. Yeah. Yeah, with, with so, certain fish like Corvina and stuff like that, you don't, um, you don't need to do it so long. You can tell because it turns white. White and yeah, firm. Yeah, from like a clear, it, it clear and soft, it gets more white and firm, and then you should be, you should be good to go. Now, can you use swipe for um? Yeah, you ceviche? can definitely any white fish. You can use for ceviche. You know, so that's why swipe is a good swipe is a good when you see it's it's nice and white. Okay, ask us your questions, my friends from Instagram. Let us know your questions. We're here now. My friends from Facebook, let me know, let me know. Let's see, we got some questions over here. Okay, we got that one. Big shout out to Adam, Ron, Kimberly. Everybody, ask us your questions, ask us your questions. I'm Smiley Miami with celebrity chef Frankie, baby. Right, I'm your boy Chef Frankie, I got DJ Smiley in the house. My panita in crime right now. We over here at the Cafe 72 kitchen. Oh yeah, let me know guys, any, uh, let me see. My favorite way to cook shrimp. So I'm half Italian, uh, and one of my favorite ways to cook shrimp is scampi. Scampi, anything with a lot of garlic, butter. anything, butter, uh, basil, citrus, you know what I mean? You can use a little wine. And it's like one of my favorite things is to do like a spaghetti and with the shrimp, it's so, it's so good. My and favorite way to eat it is uh, with ceviche for sure. Exactly. Shrimp with ceviche. Oh, everybody likes their stuff, let me see. W which fish do you recommend for ceviche? And swai is a good one. You know, if you're using Panama products, swai is a really good white, solid fish, you know? And, and shrimp, you know, Smiley likes the shrimp, so I always recommend that. Do you ever use the cooked shrimp for something like ceviche? And I, I, I mean, listen, it's the safest way to go. It's already prepared, you know what I mean? It's not gonna damage the product once you put it into the lemon and everything, it's just gonna enhance the product. So, and yeah, I definitely recommend using a brand new pack, you know, a, 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 if not, you have to uh, cook your fresh seafood. Yeah. Okay, any more questions? Let's see, let's we'll see, what do we got? How long should shrimp take to poach? 
a poaching shrimp is, is pretty simple. I would say a, a minute and a half in boiling water. Wait, with salt? Or no yeah, salt? yeah, salted, always salt in, you know, in anything you're gonna cook. So if you're gonna do like um, camarones to dip in a cocktail sauce, usually you just salt the water, boil it, and you can use a strainer uh, or whatever you want. You can just drop the shrimp in there and then grab them. Hey, after like I would say a minute and a half if I have to put a time on it, but till they're nice and pink and they, you know, they get a little firm. Let, let's go to Facebook. It yeah, says let's here. See what are they talking over there? Can I air fry my shrimp for the po' boy, Jaslyn Jassy? Absolutely. Whatever you can fry, you can air fry. And shrimp po' boys are great uh, with the fried shrimp, and you can definitely 100% do it in the fryer. And then from my friend Adam, it says here, uh, or Kimberly now. Do you have blue crab? Yeah. Panama has blue yeah, crab. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it comes clean, ready to go. Super easy. What, what's some of the things that we can do with the crab? Hey, man, cra crab is just like shrimp. You can do almost anything with it. You know what I like to do with the crab? If I get the blue crabs, uh, put them in a pan with butter, garlic, oil, salt them up real good, let them cook and let out the juices, and then you add uh, more basil, and tomato sauce, and you can make uh, uh, like a crab tomato sauce. And then once the, the once the sauce is done, then you pull out the crabs and you break them apart, and you eat the insides with the sauce. Oh my Yeah, my, my grandfather used to make that for me when I was a kid. Wow, fire! So now fire. one second, let me uh... Once again, want thank you guys for following us, Panama Seafood. I'm Smiley Miami, and I'm here with celebrity chef Frankie, baby. We're going over handling of seafood. How to handle seafood when you get it? A lot of stuff come in. Um, like you said, clean. The, the, the muscle meat. Carne de mejillones. Yeah, mejillones is just muscles in Spanish. And it's a great product. This is great to do any kind of pasta, you know, anything like that. Even that in the scampi is amazing. You can do that in the Asian style. A little sweet chili, garlic, maybe a little pineapples, and then you toss the clams in there on top Ooh. of some rice. Pineapples. Yeah, even wow. with, with the pineapple too, you can make like a coconut curry. You're showing off now. No, no, it's it's very <laughs> simple stuff, man. Everything I like to talk about on live and everything like that is, is super simple things you can do with these amazing uh, Panama seafood products. Uh, it, it's it's so easy. Usually you can buy a good uh, a curry paste, you know, yeah. a little coconut milk. Coconut milk, garlic. That's it. Lemongrass. Yeah, and maybe or a little ginger maybe. Yeah. You know, saute in the pan. Oh. Add the seafood at the end. Yeah, legal, bro. Yeah, so good, man. All right, my friends from, we'll go back to Facebook. Yeah, we got another go question here. Let's see. All right. Where do you get your seafood from? Hey, so all the packaging tells you exactly pretty much where it comes from. And, and it's different parts of the world. Whoever has the best, you know, seafood products, that's where Panama source is from. And let me see something. What's your favorite? You can answer that. What's your favorite side dish to eat with fish? Ooh, man, I like, if I'm having fried fish, maybe like some tostones. Yeah, right? Tostones. Nothing like a good fat shrimp with, with some tostones, tostones with some mayucacho. Ooh. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a little mayucacho, some lime yeah. juice. Yeah. Uh, and then, I don't know, mine, it, the, the, like, so I would say, let's say with salmon, I like maybe like something very lemony as a sauce, and then like some asparagus. Oh, I just made a good cream salmon. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, so like yeah with that. lemon, you could do like a little lemon uh, bechamel or a beurre blanc, always goes good with the salmon. Okay, and let me see, what's that time you that? Oh, we're doing good. We're, All doing right, good. we're, we're, we're almost done, guys, so we have like five more minutes to answer any we, questions. We got room for two more questions, two more questions. Kimberly, let me know. Corey, Jaslyn, Adam, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah, man, shout out to all you guys. We got room for two more Carlos, questions. Soto, uh, AC Santos. When, you, when are you baking or sauteing seafood? What seasonings do you recommend? See, that's a very broad question. This one is from uh, Bailey Norris. Hey, when we're, okay, so when you're baking or sauteing seafood, what seasonings do you recommend? I, depending what it is, you know, you can, anything from, always lemon, anything seafood, you can do with lemon or lime. The fish, use like an Old Bay seasoning, you know, stuff like that. We got a question from Brittany. Okay. It's, she's from Puerto Rico. Okay. The beautiful Isla de Puerto Rico. Okay. All right, she's asking, is it okay to cook your fish with the veggies at the same time? I mean, so, fish is pretty delicate. 
So I don't necessarily recommend cooking it at the same time, but technically if, so I do a dish for my wife, actually with this swipe filet, so if you cook the swipe filet, while you're cooking the veggies and mix it up, you know, I cut it into Steaming pieces. Or you no, I saute it with some sauteed veggies, Ooh. yeah. And if you're baking, then I then absolutely you can put the pan, you can put you know, put the veggies on the bottom, put the I like fish on the top. The fish with the yeah, veggies. or you know, yeah. whatever it is, but you can definitely do them at the same time. Last question. Okay, let's see one more question. Let's see if we got one on here. Is it safe to cook? Okay, yeah, I got that one. I think I got yeah. one here on Facebook. Grab one over there. Yeah, let's see what you got over there on Facebook. Okay, is shrimp better baked, boiled, or fried with this brand? And hey, listen, this from brand, Kathy. This brand is super versatile, and I want to say that they have a product for whatever you want to do. Panama definitely has a product for baking. It has a product for searing, sautéing, for frying. I mean, they, they just make so many products uh, that pretty much is. You can do anything you want. You can do anything you want because they will have a product to fit whatever needs you might have. Okay. They will definitely have a product. And then all we're waiting for is our little shrimp po, po boy to come. And uh, and then we'll cheers and we're done. Yes, ready to go. Big shout out to Puri Puki, King Mancho, Hachera, and Ponce, A Kitchen Obsession. All right, and Emily. And ask your questions, guys. Ask your questions. Ask your questions. Mr. Moscato, is it safe to eat fish and shrimp only with lime? Or do you have to cook it? He answered that. Yes. Shout out to Yaris. Dr. Luis Valdez, Debrizi. Normijo, Tilapia. Rebecca Martin, Rosie. Belly. Okay. Yes, Neptuno. Emily, what's your favorite side to eat with fish? Tostones all day. Mambo tostones, put it there. Do you know where I can find it in North Carolina? Uh, Sedan, do they have Sedanos in North Carolina? Maybe. <laughs> I would definitely Google that one or, or hit the Panama DM. Yeah, and it says here from Sumir, when is the next live? Are you gonna share recipes? It's on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. That's right, every Wednesday, 4 p.m. Check it out, baby, yeah, the yeah. light eyes. Woo, we taking over. Panama Seafood, thank you guys, thank you guys. We're just waiting for this amazing, amazing po' boy sandwich. And why po' boy? What, 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 what do you like po' boy, because <clears throat> I love the Panama shrimp, and there's so much things you can do with them. You know, we're, 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 we're casual today. You know, it's Wednesday, so I figure a nice little po' boy Show off some of the, you know, show off some of the Panama products. We're doing it with the Panama shrimp, you know, pretty much just peel, peel off the tails and everything. Nice, good batter. Fry them. Another We're question. We're gonna have a, a little lettuce and pico de gallo. Woo! Let's see what's the ready. Question? Saludos. After seafood, like shrimp thawed out. What is the shelf life? In the fridge, I would say I, I don't recommend it more than than a couple of days. Maybe 48 hours, 72 max. Jazlyn Jazzy, can I mix pre-cooked shrimp into my fish ceviche for an overnight mix ceviche? Say it one more time, you need a... Uh... It says, can I mix a pre-cooked shrimp into my fish ceviche for an overnight mix ceviche? I, absolutely. Hey, Norma. Remember, your, your, uh, your shrimp is already cooked, so it's super safe. You know, make sure you defrost it. As long as it's defrosted, we're good. So you can do pretty much, like I said, Panama has all the good products, and you can do a lot of things. It's so versatile. So, yeah, right here. Woo! So, baby, no. baby! So, we're going to be signing off, but I want to show everybody over here on Instagram our shrimp po' boy. See, it gets kind of crazy with the, with the lighting, I guess. Boy, there you go. Woo! Shrimp po' boy right there. Man! I'm going to show y'all the little shrimp po' boy. Oh, que rico, que rico! Wow. All right, thank you guys. Thank you for rocking with us. Shout out to Panama Seafood with the Summer Series. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday. At 4 p.m. Remember, next week is going to be even crazier. Preparate. Ceviche 101. That's right. Cheers, my Cheers. Brother. Yes. Cheers. Take flight, guys.
Thank you guys.